Chapter 46 of the book of Ezekiel contains several rules that should be obeyed in Sabbath, worship, and new moon festivals. Saturdays were weekly worship services. The new moon parties represented the monthly feast. The central focus of these encounters was worship of God. In verse 3 we read, Likewise the people of the land shall worship at the entrance to this gateway before the Lord on the Sabbaths and the new moons. The Hebrew word for worship that appears in this verse is the verb shaha. Its most literal meaning is bowed down before an authority. So the act of worship is to recognize that God is the sovereign. That is why in the times of the early Christian church, many Christians were killed. The government of Rome demanded that Caesar be the sole master of his subjects. However, the Christians refused to bow before the Roman emperor and declared that Jesus was their only Lord. That's worship. Bow before God in recognition of his authority. To worship is not simply to raise your hands at the time of music. It's not just attending a religious temple. Worship goes far beyond weekly religious services. It's a decision and a lifestyle. It is submission and obedience. So one of the best definitions of worship I heard was, worship is the act of to wave our will and to do the will of God. 